Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beta Plan as we are playing our One Province Habsburg campaign. And, uh, well, in the beginning, we are going to, well, look into the new expansion Conclave. As, uh, well, it messed up my realm a little bit. You can play your save files if they are not Iron Man, but they did mess up a little bit. All of a sudden, I cannot hold my Demesne. And that is really problematic in income, but also that, well, people dislike me a lot for that. Demesne too big. And unfortunately, now, with a new DLC, councils vote on law. It's the entire council. And if we, can, if we look here, there are only two supporters for changing the law to what I like. So I need to get either Mayor Elbig of Freiburg, Prince Gustav of Burgundy, or Prince Werner of Burgundy on my side. Then I actually also will allow me to vote on it one more time. They already know that if you make a vote on a law, you cannot do so again for a while. But I really need to do this because, well, that's simply a thing that changed because the new DLC is here and I do want to have my realm at least in that way properly functioning. Because of this, I also am going to put down my army and all our previous plans, they have been thwarted. Why? Well, if we go to the council, revoking of titles, <clears throat> yeah, that uh, is done by the council. Or at least, the council members vote on the title revocation issues. I cannot do it myself. Bit annoying. Bit, bit little, little, little bit annoying. But uh, yeah, so... Council. Council is nowadays very important and, oh, well, you already see one of the new screens. You have the positions, but on top of that, don't forget that you have your own unique advisor and as an emperor you have yet another possibility. So we're going to put in this map because every powerful vassal wants to be on the council. I didn't notice and I can't change the council members as you can see over here as well. I, I, oh, actually I can appoint them. Well, when I first loaded it up, I could not appoint people. So now I really have to decide where I'm going to put people. Um, you have 8, he has 14, he's so much better. But the fact that he's not on the council is one of the things why the Duke of the Provence is not too happy with me. Well, you are definitely the best on there. What is your score? 16, 12. 12. Uh, no, you're really bad with that. Um... And that's a core chaplain. I can't really do something about that. I guess, I guess, I guess. I guess. Uh, but 8 is just too weak. I guess the Duke of the Provence will be mad at me. We are going to... S oh, well, first of all, placate these guys. Give him desig... Oh. This will change his opinion. Oh, I said revoke. Oops. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Do you want to... No, I cannot buy his favor. Uh, he hates me at this very moment. That's so bad. Um, and send gift. Yeah, I guess I have to do that. But oh, they have nerfed this crazily. It's really weak nowadays. But I kind of need my council to be happy with me. Um, award on our retirement tool. Send a show. By the way, 10. Master Wars 5. Yes, they have all... Downgraded its value also a little bit, which is uh, not happy at all with that. Buy, can I buy your favor? Nope. So I cannot request council support. Mm, mm, oh, I can appoint you a commander. I have one more title left. Now you're starting to kind of like me, but not good enough. That is very unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, because keeping your council happy is so important in this game nowadays. This 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 has changed everything. By the way, new screen in order to tell you which titles you can give out. This is um, a lot better in overview in my opinion. So I kind of like that a lot. Ooh, you kind of hate me as well. But luckily you're not on a council. This is my brother, right? Yeah. Oh, but I can give it to him and you're on my council. All right, you're on the master of the horse now. Keeper of the swans. I guess I'm going to go for this Duke of Moravia. 
Uh, Core Unique, Core Jester, no, Core Jester just makes somebody angry. That is not my real wise to do so. Um, this is my Legis Council. He has two advisors because he's an emperor instead of a king, and that's at least how I kind of figured it out by now. Because I believe as a duke, you have no additional advisor slot. So who is on the side of Prince Otto of Burgundy? So we are at least pushing people into the right side. I really need to have this law pass. Because if it doesn't pass, I am kind of in trouble. Because then all of a sudden my domestic size is wrong. And that's going to cause trouble. Shall we put it gently? Cause trouble. Um, why do you hate me so much? I really dislike that. Uh, oh, I can fire council over here. That's at least... Oh, it's also less severe nowadays. Okay, so you first need to... You cannot... I, I don't understand. First this was all grayed out, but now all of a sudden I am allowed to do this when I first started up. Because, well, I had to look into it a little bit, of course. It's all con it's just as new to me as it is to you. And yes, we have been pushed back into being a gavel kind kingdom. Ugh, luckily we have only one son. Uh, and also, another big, big problem. High crown of 40. He doesn't need all the dukes to vote anymore. No, his council is just fine. And thus he will get high crown of 40. Which probably means that he is going to change the laws. Currently it's an heredity as a crystal kind empire. It's on gavel kind also. I... The last time we left off, it was definitely still elective. So it's a bit of an issue. And yes, there is us over here. In the, the, the gender laws, there, this is one of the possible people to inherit and stuff. But let's look into something else what you can do. You can do focuses. Children lack a childhood focus and an education focus. Well, we're going to say this boy is for military, so we're going to go with a martial education. Now, it says rowdy and willful children do better than timid children and idolizers. What that is, I will show you right now. Let's say boy, right? Being educated in this Van Habsburg by a military man. Well, if we tell him to go for struggle, he can get willful and rowdy. Or if we tell him to go for pride, he might get brooding and haughty. Yes, now you can get unique children traits. And your later education that you choose for a child, um, well, is actually influenced by their earlier childhood focus. And traits they might get. So you can, can see how your child develops, and then you can see a little bit, hopefully, better than before if your child is actually kind of good to become, for instance, a brilliant strategist, which we were lucky to obtain after having played two characters. Um, but yeah, that's now things you can do. Isn't that exciting? Uh, Von Lenzberg, uh, girl, I'm going to put you on intrigue just because I, I kind of want to do that. And I am going to give you to an intriguing person. Voila. And uh, you are, I believe, yes, groomed for choosing the steward education. Princess Adela focuses her studies on bookkeeping and administration, brooding and conscious children. Consensus children, sorry. Brooding and consensus. So, let's find one. Uh, oh, I don't, it doesn't matter where I focus on. Brooding and consensus. So, is that also what you get here? No, that's fuzzy and curious, strangely enough. Brooding and consensus. Is that not, is that not with pride? Brooding, yes. Also haughty. And Consensius is over here, I think. No, indolent. That's affectionate. Uh, interestingly enough, those don't... Don't... Uh... Oh, there's Consensius. There it is. So, Thrift, Curious and Fuzzy doesn't actually focus well on later on to get... Educations into... Uh, into stewardship. Interesting. Another very thing that the school is focusing on child on heritage. Is tutored by various courts of family members focused on assimilating German culture and the Catholic faith. I assume that this is the way to get children to stop staying on their culture. That this is the way to boost it. Normally you were looking for diligent people and stuff like that. Now it is heritage. Awesome. I don't know how effective it is. But it's cool that it's there. Isn't it? Let's say that Dietmar is going to focus on faith. Yes, idolizer. Alright. 
I shouldn't have done that that so quick. Um, you are focusing on military, my boy. Military education. And then this... Oh, that was the last one. All right. Um, you are being taught to be... Dutiful. But we're just going to choose a few. And also we're going to try and mix it up a little bit. Um, we could use actually a good... Chancellor, so why don't you go for trying to become friendly? Actually, I, we, we're going a little too fast over this. We told the boy to become... Well, we, uh, we uh, had a focus on humility, tutored by servants and courts. But this is my daughter, of course, so she is going to go for etiquette. For playful and indolent. This is my attractive daughter, after all. Ooh, this is my son. Uh, we'll go for pride, I reckon. Prince Heine is tutored by counselors and noblemen, being groomed for rulership, common traits and... Outcome for this focus are haughty and brooding. Haughty and brooding. Struggle is very loosely tutored. No, no, no. We'll go for this. Even though that one is the loosely tutored is best for military education, we just already read because it gives you willfully and rowdy. Um, I guess also for etiquette, mm, the son of my brother, because well, she is also. One that's good at it. Oh, and then it's over. Alright, so, um... They've done that. Now we really want to have this low centralization go through. We kind of need to change the minds of some people. Council positions. We don't actually know yet what he wants. Send a gift. That's also by way now, in, instantaneously I notice. He will do request council support. We'll request council support from him. Alright. We need this council support. Um, he will also do request council support. Alright. We might just be able to finagle out just enough people to allow us. Yes, we can. Hopefully that will go right. Alright. Waiting for the letters to arrive. I will accept the position as commander. I will. I will support you in the council. Perfect, that's one. High crown 40, yeah. And I will support you in the council, dear nephew. Perfect. Just one more man. Let's see on our law. Support enough. Go for it. Immediately, then it's also allowed. Has voted for low centralization. Awesome. And we have passed it. And he will support. So, now I'm going to do the one little trick that is actually normally not allowed. And I will show you what it is. Medium, I cannot change another law in five years from now. But I did, was I was able to hold my domestic. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say allow laws. Yeah. And we are immediately going to vote on uh, medium centralization. Can I get people with me? No, I cannot. Actually, no, there are enough supporters. So immediately vote on that as well. And then we should have medium... Uh, voila. Okay. Medium is now allowed. Because we were in low, people were... Actually, because we were on minimal, I had a minus 20 penalty to opinion. Now we are back on it. All right. I'm not going to vote on any more other laws, so I'm going to say allow laws off. This is the only cheat I will use in order to keep on the Mesne size as it was, and everything else will be as it is. Um, I do want to vote on another law, like instant, I want to go into late here, I really want to go there. But, uh, yeah, well, we kind of have to wait probably, because I have to wait for another five years. Five years from now, I want to late feudal administration. Why? Because late feudal lords realize the importance of keeping the inheritance together to facilitate their dynasty's long-term increase in power and wealth. In this system, there is a tendency for vassals to grow more and more powerful with time if not kept in check. I find this important because now I notice that Prima Congenitor has one of the, the marks it has. All the following must be true. Holder, primary title, one of these must be true. Late feudal administration has the law imperial administration. Imperial administration. Yeah, so one of these two, and then you may already get Prima Congenitor. If that is true, then holy heck, yes, please. 
Because, however, I had to put it on medium and it is what it is. Now, our council currently can uh, vote on if I can or not revoke titles, which is a bit of a bad thing. This is something we normally are used to, that we should be able to do that ourselves, but we can still decide on banishment, execution, and ruler, if we can grant a title. But we, uh, for imprisonment, <clears throat> for war declarations, revoke times and council power, well, that is something the council votes on. And we are now completely and utterly into, uh, well, the world of um, Conclave. The council, uh, let's uh, look at you yourself, and that's not different. This is what I wanted to see. Uh, no people are malcontent, as we saw in the very, very beginning. No people are content. Perfect. Um, what does this signify? It's a return of favor to King Heinrich of Burgundy. Heinrich of Burgundy. Heinrich of Burgundy. Excellent. Now the quest is, can we request... Yes, we can request council support. We can request council support also from him. From him. Also from him now? Well, then we should allow have one more law allow on, on behind us, because then our whole council is behind us. Uh, yeah, actually, we should have one more law, because this one isn't supposed to be happening. So I guess what we're going to do is we're... One more law change. Actually, we already gave away about 200 bucks just in order to have all of this working again. There we go. Now everybody will support me. No, I think I skipped over one. The Council of Burgundy has rejected the institution of levy shifted church obligations law. What? I didn't vote for that. I did not think I vote for that. Uh, excuse me. Don't know what happened there, but all right. Uh, that might just be the one coming over from one way to the other. Okay, but everybody is supporting me. One more law that is supposedly allowed. The, actually, the law that we should have had changed once we've gained it in the game. Because now we were already on medium centralization. So one more time, allow laws. And now we can vote on the one law that we actually want. See if people will take it. Late administration. Actually, everybody supports it. And we'll... I think I wanted this one. The ruler is allowed to legally seize hereditary titles from traitors and unlawful subjects. Oh, that boss also wasn't allowed. May now see the titles of heathens and hereditary freely. That is... Here? Interesting. Then how do you mm, determine crown authority? Because normally this was part of crown authority law. I don't know how that works. That is something we will find out together, I suppose. But this is the one law that we can vote on. Um, am I going to go on revoking of titles? To legally seize hereditary titles from traitors and unlawful subjects. Yeah, but if we could get it to bloody... Well, am I going to get any more children? Ooh, oops. I might get more children. Late administration. This is the one law that we wanted. Okay, and now we should really not allow any more laws. Even though some of these laws should already have been implemented and were implemented, uh, like a revoking of titles, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if that would be fair. I mean, you can change now laws every five years. I, I know I had the council port only for three months. But still, I mean, I can't revoke titles now here from him, right? See, sent. The council will vote yes again on it, that I may revoke his titles. But that, that we will all do for the council. We have done our law changes. We are now in late administration. Um, and... Uh, that is the only law that we wanted differently, and we are back on medium centralization, as we were. Alright, so that is all good. But we are under gavel kind. So, would Prima Congenitor now be allowed? All of the following must be true. But they are all true. And, well, because I must either have late feudal administration or pyramid administration, this is awesome. We may actually be able to get to Prima Congenitor along the route here, though. Nobody may have a negative opinion of me, and I, some people still do. Yeah, this man, because he's not on the council. That is the biggest issue why you hate me. 
30. Minus 30. For not being on the council. I should give him just a really shitty job and... You know, I, I, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to go. Um, I'm gonna fire you. That was allowed immediately, and then we're going to say we want him on the council. He went from minus 48 to minus 2. That is an awesome amount of stuff. Um, renegotiate non-aggression pact? Why would we need a non-aggression pact with our... With inside our borders? Um, he won't buy favor. Relief commander? No. We can send him a gift, yes. We are now really hammering for um, uh, things. I don't know if... Well, we have one less loyal supporter on, on the council. I'll admit that, but... We'll have to see. I mean, most of the people vote yes on it anyways. We have support. We have now rearranged our council the way we want. And we have... Most of them are zealots. Zealots, no, zealots. A zealot council will strive towards bringing religious subjects to the agenda of the realm's actions. If there are religiously important wars possible, the council might oppose wars against other targets. The council will also be more inclined to accept hostile actions against heathens and heretic characters. Well, we have a heretic character in our realm. This man. Would be nice, but he is currently protected by this guy. So, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Perhaps we should just go in on, oh, a little crusade. But that is all things that we will do in the next episode. Yes, this was an episode full of, uh, well, arranging our council. And no, I'm not going to cheat my money back. That is just part that we have to do. We have to please our council more. We just have the laws in such a way now that we can hold out the message. Everything else is fine. Well, are you as curious as I am? I am. I, we will see in the next episode if we can make our realm grow. Not getting too much infamy, and, uh, well, also, well, changing our law slowly around to the way we want. I hope we can. I say I think you're watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.